<laughs> the Sims team has yet again released a brand new update for The Sims 4. This update is rather small in comparison to the update that we received previously within the month. I'm going to go over some of the patch notes, but stay tuned towards the end of the video because your girl is having a giveaway. This update is for console, Mac, and PC. What's new, you might ask, as you guys have seen in our past 411 live stream, we added in this update a few new Asian eye presets for female and male Sims. You can find these in Create a Sim, and we hope you love them. In case you missed the live stream, I have applied my non-existent Photoshop skills and have added them into the patch notes for your enjoyment. See below for maximum visuals. So I did actually go in Create a Sim and kind of take a little gander at these. It's really hard to decipher which ones are the new presets, but also at the same time, it's not that hard. They are beautiful and I can't wait to show them to you guys. Besides adding these presets, we've also updated two hairstyles from our base game. First, we have the gorgeous Hair Med Text Curls, or as we've named it in our 411 blog post, the Retro Style Large Afro. Beautiful. I added a few screenshots on how it looks with female and male frames, adults, children, and toddlers. Secondly, we have the Fab Hair EF13 Afro Short, or as we called it, the Short Afro. I have added below some screenshots with female and male frames adults children and toddlers as well for your reference I want to note that we noticed that this particular hairstyle with the black color swatch looks a bit gray in the screen caps below but we can tell you that we have fixed it already for a future update and below the content that we received there are a bunch of sims for bug fixes which you guys can read on in case they are applicable to you here we are in create a sim with a few sims that I created with the brand new update. First and foremost, I'm going to showcase the brand new hairs or the updated base game hairs. This hair is notorious for being called the cauliflower or broccoli hair. It looked literally nothing like hair and more like a food. They have revamped this hair and let me tell you, it is absolutely stunting. Like I am in awe of the texture of the detail. And also I love the fact that they went ahead and added a little structure to the face by adding in some bangs. This hair really does look super realistic, it is super beautiful. I'm very curious to know what you guys think in the comments down below. Past update, we ended up actually getting this hair, which was also really beautiful. But honestly, this is the one that I was most excited to see because I know this texture alone, so many CC creators are going to run miles with it. Now, in case you guys are interested in seeing what it looks like on children, I will go ahead and age down Sheena here. And this is what it looks like. Super adorable, very cute and very proportionate, might I add. Um, I did want to see really quick, even though we kind of saw it in the patch notes, how it looks like on toddlers. And I love it. Oh my God. This is so cute. The second base game hair that received an update this month is this bad boy here, which was the short afro. Now, I'm not going to lie on the patch notes. It's definitely resembling a little more like this hair here, which isn't gray toned as they have pointed out. So I'm definitely assuming it is this one. Honestly, I don't care. It looks way, 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 way better than any of the base game afros that originally came out. So I'll take it and run with it. Now, I will say this hair is quite interesting. I love the texture. I love the fade. I also love the detail. Um, of course, we don't love the gray tone because the actual salt and pepper looks looks a little unrealistic. It just looks a little frosty to me. Um, whereas this one kind of feels like it should be that swatch, if that makes sense. And this one should resemble the darker swatch on the larger Afro. I don't know. It's quite confusing, but it definitely looks really, really, really nice either way. I'm super excited about this. Having it in game just makes me so happy. Here's a little side by side on the updated short Afro on children and toddlers. It could be really hard to pinpoint which eye presets are new. So I've actually gone ahead and compiled all of the eye presets that you can expect in this update into a little image sheet, which I will be putting on my website in case you guys want to take a closer look. If I had to guess, and believe me, I am totally taking a shot in the dark with this one. I feel like this eye moving downward are all of where the new presets exist. So we're going to go through them really quick in case you guys want to see what they look like on this particular sim. 
I also love this big wide eye preset. I think that one's really nice as well. Um, we also have some other versions and variants. This one is very uh, like it's very similar, but there is a slight subtle change in the eyelids, which I actually was really, really surprised to see. Um, and then we have a couple other variants that consist of hooded lids. And then we also have, um, I think it's called like a monolid. I don't know how to explain these things without sounding like a dumbass. So just please bear with me here. I'm not trying to be insulting at all. I just do not know my eye anatomy, eyelid anatomy at all whatsoever, but you kind of get the gist of it. And I will be honest with you guys, like these freaking eye presets are beautiful. I am going to have so much fun playing with these and I'm definitely, definitely, definitely excited and very appreciative um, that they've added them in. To my knowledge, that is everything in this month's update. Now, I was anticipating some brand new hair swatches, but that seems to not be the case with this update, hopefully very soon. So we're going to move on to the second part of the video, which has to do with my giveaway. I wanted to give back to you guys for loving me and supporting me throughout my entire journey and I don't do giveaways often enough. Essentially, I am going to be allowing you guys to pick any pack from The Sims 4 or even the base game that your heart desires. You get to pick one. Now, this giveaway is going to last for approximately three weeks. You do, of course, need to be a supporter of my channel as this is a give back from me to you as a token of my appreciation for your love and loyalty. Also, side note, we are going to be entering through Gleam. All of the details and everything that you need to know about the giveaway will be in the description down below. With that said, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video here. I hope that you all enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to go ahead and comment and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about the update and the presets in the comments down below for the sun does not shine. And I will see you all next time.